Okay, well, we are back. Yes, indeed we are. Yeah, we just finished the casino. It was great. Yeah. We, uh... Hey, have you, you, you missed me? It's been a while since hey, we talked. Hey, she's not here yet. Since she's since not here yet. Hey, hey, I'm over here. I'm, come on, I want to be in the video. Well, she'll be yeah. in the video pretty soon, actually, if I had to guess. Because they should yeah. be almost done with the kitchen, because... I mean, at least remember when we did the kitchen that it looked like they finished the casino first. So I'm sure that's the same thing here. True. But yeah, no, we're just gonna go and, well, head down to Sea Deck, I Snake, guess. Uh, are you gonna be all right? I mean, the stairs. Oh yeah, I told you about those stairs, bro. <laughs> Please. I told you about do the stairs. I warned the embarrassment you. Of underestimating me, I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. He is so confident, man. He is. A, he's kind of a Chad. And rightfully so. Hear. I mean, he's risen. Let's up. move. At Seven's words, they leapt onto the stairs and jogged quickly down them. In no time at all, they found themselves on Sea Deck. And everything looks okay here. We should check the next deck down, just in case. That shit's flooded. Hmm, I'm getting deja vu. When he reached the water, he called back up to Snake and Seven. Just what I thought. D-Deck is completely underwater. Now, yeah, we're going to have some similar scenes here, but since we have different people with us, the dialogue will be a little different. But I, I promise when we get to actual identical dialogue, I'm just going to skip through it because there's no reason for us to see it again. Just like the That's bottom fair. of the central staircase. The surface of the water below them was flat, like a mirror. I'm just glad the water level hasn't changed much. Back to the sea deck, then. Now, how about we check out what's here? They began searching around and taking stock of what was on sea deck. There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. There's a card reader between them, and another weird mark. Hey, uh, check it out. <laughs> It's the symbol for Lotus. Yeah, he said that last time, remember? And then she got mad at him. What are you saying, Jumpy? Yeah, what? I remember that. See? <laughs> it's got the woman symbol, and then it's got the devil horns, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope she pops yeah, up. Yeah, I see it. No two ways about it. Oh, uh, my man. One, kid. Oops. I think he uh, just Seven, gotta... you know what? Seven's like my, maybe my favorite. Honestly, so far, I love him. Like, I really come around to the guy. Great but you're character. still sus of him like you are everyone else, right? I'm less sus of him now, honestly. And if something were to happen that revealed that I was correct to be sus of him, I'm, I'll am i be a little sad. I'll be real. I mean, I can't roll anything out here, but, uh, you know, I like him. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Seven tussled Junpei's hair in what he likely thought to be a friendly manner. Junpei feared his neck might break, even though it was clear Seven had kept his strength in check. Oh, whoa, would you watch it, man? Whoa, that hurts. You're gonna break my neck. What are you talking about? <laughs> the human body ain't- What are you talking me. about? Maybe this will toughen you oh, up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and yet, despite it being such a happier mood, he is still getting physically abused. If we were looking for a devil, we've got one right here. Thankfully, Snake interrupted. After Junpei's observation, he'd gone over to examine the card reader. This is a Mercury symbol. The marks you mistook for horns are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. Wings and a staff? Huh. So then, she beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. Yeah, that... Yeah. Sounds like Lotus, all right. Damn. <laughs> Real. Okay. Seven shook Junpei's head even more vigorously, and the younger man began to feel as though his brain was being jostled about inside of his skull. Seven, Love oh, that. that's too much. Oh, my head. Junpei's stomach began churning uncomfortably. Oh, I think I'm going to puke. Wah, wah, Unless we wah. can activate this device, I doubt the elevator will function. In other words, we gotta find a key card with a mercury symbol on it. So I would assume. Let's forget the elevators for right now. Yep, that now is one big dead end. Left. Whoa, 
There's a bunch of doors. Boy, I sure hope we don't have to spend over an hour hey, looking through all of them. Hey, this game is supposed to be called Nine Doors. What? This feels like false advertising. Yeah, I'm there's a lot to... more than Nine Doors, huh? Yeah, I'm a little disappointed in that. More like 99 doors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no kidding. There are a great many doors lining both sides of the hallway. They seemed to stretch on forever, and all three men suddenly felt very small. Ah, oh, shit. We're not gonna have enough time to check all these, are we? Maybe we can come back here later. We should check out the other side. Let's head back. The right of the stairs, another hallway stretched out, reaching deep into the bowels of the ship. To the right this time. After a few moments of moving briskly down the hallway, they emerged into an area roughly the same size and shape as the one at the top of the stairs. On the left side of the room were four French doors. Uh, there are doors here too. Uh, well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Wonder what's okay, behind it. it. Junpei nodded and grabbed the one closest to him. He gave it a small tug and felt it move. Huh, it isn't locked. I'm going to open it. Thrilled to have found another unlocked door, he threw it open. Please be a hospital room. Please be a hospital room. Please be a hospital room. It's a hospital room. I... This is really familiar. I had a dream about this place, too. Yeah. That's wild. With that really wacky three-door... <laughs> Are there people in here already? That would be weird, huh? Seven's eyes opened wide and his mouth gaped. After a few long moments, Seven at last managed to speak. Hey, what... What is this place? It's so huge. And empty. Yeah, just like your mom, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I thought you liked him! A massive room stretched out in front of them, more a cavern than a room. Its vastness was oppressive and it bore down on Seven and Junpei. It was not empty, however. The entire room was filled with lines upon lines of beds. Yeah, okay, that... So if I do this... Can I do... Oh, there are beds. Is this... The no. harsh scent in the air is reminiscent of I suppose that wasn't completely different, so whatever. I think so. There are shelves in the center of the room with medicine and surgical tools. I think once we meet up with everyone, though, it'll merge. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. Three of them were emblazoned with large single-digit numbers made with thick red paint. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Hey, why is that door between three and seven blank? Well, I could tell you, but that would be future knowledge. Does that mean anything? Mm. No point worrying future. about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yeah, good idea. All right, good idea. you think any, uh, think any of them will open for them? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Probably not. It's almost like last time they didn't because the doors weren't uh, functioning. Yep. Locked. Oh yeah. No, sure like enough. Look at that. Wow. It's still broken. No Natural. way. That's wild. After all, there are rules to the nonary game, and to allow these doors to open easily would violate those rules. Unless we can authenticate ourselves with the red, the numbered doors will. Whoa, whoa, check this out. Suddenly, Seven spoke up, interrupting Snake. Look at the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember the red back at the main staircase? If there wasn't anyone in it, it said vacant on the little screen, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But this one... There's nothing. Nope. Right? It is you think it's broken? missing its innards, I believe. Only one way to find out. Hmm. Hey, when I'm missing my innards. Dude, right? No, nothing. Junpei and the others put their hands on the panel, but nothing happened. The red refused to change. They tried pulling the lever and still nothing. 
as they soon discovered it wasn't only the red on door 8 that seemed to be malfunctioning. How about the red on door 7? And door 3? Uh, I think they're all I didn't equally think broken. All of them would be malfunctioning. What does it mean? The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? They've got to be broken. Man, that bastard. I didn't think Zero was the kind of guy who'd screw around with something like this. Whoa, whoa. Zero's been prepared for everything so far, and you're saying he's going to make a mistake now? Hey, man, nobody's yes. perfect. Yeah. Well, that's the only thing I can think of. This thing ain't working at all. Hmm. While Junpei and Seven talked, Snake busied himself with examining the red. After a time, he lowered his hands and spoke. It seems as if some of the internal hardware has been removed. Internal hardware? That is what I said. Take a look at the underside of this red, if you please. The I have a quick question. Yeah? Um, the last time we showed up here in the bad path, was everybody else already here already? No. Or did that... Okay. So we we were just... examining the doors, and then they came in when they heard us rummaging uh, around in here. Okay. Junpei obliged and bent over to look at the underside. Huh. There's a thin slot here. I think it's a slot or something. <laughs> Probably There's electronic. a thin slot here. I think it's a slot. Or something. <laughs> Uh, the other two reds are the same. Something's been removed from all three of them. Wah, wah. I get it. So the reds aren't working because somebody pulled out their guts. So I assume. But why? And who? I, I mean, it really doesn't make sense. I have no idea. Why on earth would I know something like that? I don't know. You seem pretty smart. Just then, they heard the sound of a door opening. Oh, what now? The three of them Our turned friends. and saw... Gane! Oh no, oh. Junpei thought. It's... June! She stopped short, surprised to see them, and was very nearly bowled over by the rest of her companions who were coming through the door behind her. I'm glad they managed to get out of the, uh... Ace! Santa! Clover! And, and Lotus! Yeah, no, they didn't freeze to death. Guess everyone's here. Guess they didn't need Junpei's meat. No, I guess not. Junpei and Seven were, for the moment, at a loss for words. What are you guys doing? Why are you... That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. So is this going to be where timelines merge and we can... No? Okay. This seems to be the same stuff. Why can't I skip it? This is literally the exact same dialogue. I would know this because uh, I, I maybe just, there's more. I just finished editing the video where the last time we were oh, in here. Little sneak peek there into the behind the scenes process. Yeah, no, we literally this is a hundred percent word for word the exact same text. Actually, let me check where we are on the flow. No, we're still technically up here, so. Maybe, oh, once it moves to the next section, it'll probably let us skip. And that's that what we know. Sense. With that, Junpei finished his own explanation. Oh, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. What about that big hallway? Maybe there's somewhere in there we might be able to go. No, there's nothing there. The five of us had a quick look. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. You mean all those doors are for hospital rooms? Yep. Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. It had one of those solar system mark things on it. It was the Jupiter symbol. Jupiter. Jupiter is stupider. I wonder what it means. Confusion seemed to be the consensus. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. That's because it's the gigantic, ha ha ha. What's the, what's the deal, uh, with this room? You know, well, I, thought it was a I figure it's probably, chances are, the gigantic. Airplane peanuts. 
Yeah, this is literally what is this gigantic word for word the, the exact same gigantic story. She was a sister ship to the actually the yep. they intended to make her the British Navy took her at some point she ran aground after yep. what happened to her Lord Gordain bought it like and he was a big enough, Titanic guy, which was blue, just like Tyro there. So you're saying uh -huh. this Yeah. That's impossible. And Pipe he has down. no what, proof to back Ooh, that up. That the... Well, uh, this ship's got oh, for goodness. no like. Well Okay, yeah, this is definitely the same conversation. I don't know. Yep. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah, uh, it's Sorry selective. But at least Junpei now is in the loop and doesn't get stared at awkwardly. That's true. And then almost as if to save Seven from further embarrassment instead of Junpei. Okay, so that's one difference. A bell began to ring from far mm. away. A bell? It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. Junpei counted each chime carefully. Ten, Should be 12, right? 11. 12. Yeah. Huh. 12. And then they waste a couple hours in here, if, if I remember correctly. Then we've still got six hours left, right? Yeah, they waste like, what, two hours here or something? Yeah. Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. They had been examining the room as they but ducked. But we haven't found anything. Right. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Try 1,000. Uh -huh. Or maybe 100, I actually don't Wait. really know. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Well, you already checked some of them out before you came here, right? We each checked a single room, so five rooms in total. Hey, that's one more room than last time. So we're ahead of pace. All right, That's then. true. It's five rooms we don't have to search. <sighs> and the text is matching this time. We just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. Oh, so there is, uh, 54 rooms here? Okay. There are 48 other rooms. Lotus did not seem excited by the prospect. Seven fidgeted nervously before responding. Uh, just maybe? Oh, it was just a guess. <sighs> After some discussion, the eight of them decided which rooms to begin with and in what order they would go. Junpei was chosen to search the rooms on starboard side from fore to aft. All right, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Can I... nope. Yeah. Yes! They also determined when they would return to report their findings, the next time the clock sounded the time. When it did, they would meet back in the large central room full of beds. We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah, yeah. sounds straightforward enough. If during their search any one of them were to locate the missing components, they were to yell for the others. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. Yeah, that would suck if not. Yeah, wouldn't that be funny? If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Yeah, wouldn't Snake, be... I'll let you come up with the plan. It would be pretty right. funny if we wasted a couple hours in here, wouldn't it? Then let's do this. Right, that would be just so bizarre, right? Okay. Okay. And here an hour go. goes by. So are we now? Yes, we are. Okay. In now we're in turbo mode. So they come back to the hospital room. The guts are back in the machine. Nobody is claiming that they did it. And Snake is, well, not here. Are we going to go talk to Ace? Yeah, because that... you, you didn't want to talk to him last time. Right, right, right. I do want to talk to him this time. Yeah, and thankfully, I think we should be able to skip talking to Clover, Lotus, and Santa, I think, if we don't want to. So, let's turn that skip right off. So, let's see, the hallway with all the rooms. We should go check out that hallway with all the rooms. Okay. This yeah, time, we're not going to be a rooms. jerk. Oh, it's eight. Hey, yeah. Snake, where are you? 
Answer me if you're there. All right, let's talk to let's Ace. Go. With June in tow, Junpei jogged up to Ace. Hearing their footsteps, he turned to greet them. Ah, hello there. Snake is... Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you no. haven't found him yet? Nope. Uh, doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, I, I still don't know how... To, we must find him as quickly as we can. We know that he sake. went into the third door. I mean, we know that now, yeah. Yes, but he would have needed to make three to get in there, right? Yeah. So the only way that he would have been able to get in there... Well, wait, the... If I remember correctly, they were like, oh, some people tricked him and then threw him in there or something, right? That's what I think they theorized anyway. Yeah, I don't believe that. I don't think that's what happened, but I guess we'll find out. Maybe. Yeah, we'll find out. Right. June's face looked kind of enraptured. By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why would they you say like that? It. The question seems somehow odd to Junpei. Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. Yeah. Ace looked at him for a moment and then spoke. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Now that you mention it. Now that you mention it. Great many never crossed my mind before. Like one another. Listen. As somebody who has a brother that looks nothing like him, I don't think that's very unusual. It certainly isn't rare. Junpei wasn't sure why or even if he was seeing what he thought he was, but he could have sworn that Ace's face tightened as he spoke. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. <sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. Yeah. At June's urging, they left. All right, so I should... About that was... well, I'll think on it later. His mind was in turmoil. Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. All right. All right. Where should... So I think... We should be able to skip through most of this now, I think. Probably. Well, we'll, well, we'll, I'm go, curious. we'll go talk okay. to them at least. and then... Yeah, I am curious to... I mean, I don't think I want to do it, but I would like to... Hey, what are you... Isn't would it like obvious? To... I'm just not... I want to know what Maybe. happens if you... Because she's oh, going to ask us if we should team up or whatever. Yeah, this. Yeah, let's just no, walk away. All right. Let's go. Well, Jared. I wonder what would have happened if we had agreed to it. I don't think we could have. I don't think that was oh. a choice. Oh, there was no... Okay. Okay. Junpei took June's arm and led her quickly back towards the stairs. Goodbye, Lotus. Was that okay? You don't think we should have listened to her? I'm sure it was nothing. No, uh, I, I've got a pretty good idea what her proposal would have been. We should be looking for Snake. Huh. Well, where should we go next? All right, let's go check uh, Clover. Let's go I take a look at the first... Here. Yeah, but we're going to ignore her this time. Goodbye, Clover. She probably wasn't in much of a mood to talk. He leaned over and whispered quietly to June. Maybe we should leave her alone. Yes, I think you're right. They turned and walked quietly down the stairs. Clover had driven... Okay, yep, yeah, that's the <sighs> same really thing. Need to find Snake. So, uh, where do you... Okay, so that's the same. Uh, is Lotus about... still at the Let's casino, I guess? Uh, nope, she's last... gone. No, she's okay. gone. That happened last time, too, yeah. Yeah, so... You, get... you see them okay. the one time, sure. and then they leave. Let's go. Yep, so now we're going to the hospital room, and Wait. Santa should be here, yeah. Santa? Hey, it's Joey Wheel. I mean, Santa! Yeah, we're not... We're yeah. not talking that I guy. I don't learn anything from him anyway. Oh, damn. Jumpy? No, uh, nothing. Jumpy? Let's go, June. Junpei took June and left the large hospital room. Okay, uh, let's just finish the search, because I think that would be everything. 
So now we should be back in skip territory, yes. Well. Uh, you know, yep, she's right. The math checks out. So have you given much choice to which door you wanted? Um, yeah, I think we're going to go through seven this time. You think seven? Yeah, I think seven. All right, I'm fine with seven. Are you fine with seven? Um, yeah. All right, you've heard it here first, folks. We are going through door number seven. And you heard it here last, too. Well, I mean, uh, well, yeah. Yep. I guess, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Ace is doing his I'll stay behind shtick, uh, and then Lotus is like, Ace, hey, that works out. So Why did you drug yourself? Because you don't need me. All right, well, door seven it is, I guess. Door seven it is. I... I think... I'm gonna go with door seven. Sorry, I'm at door number three. Well, mm, too bad. I already made the choice. Oh, okay. Okay, seven it is. Yeah. All right, then. That means June's got to go through eight. What? Why? What? <laughs> That's basic math. Santa grimaced and muttered angrily to himself, but finally began to explain. If the six of us are going to keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. You know, I just remembered something. Have three, five, and yeah. eight go through seven. Four, He's in the last seven. Or in the last three, playthrough, uh, there are no other we found with Santa in the other, through the other door, we found like a clover bookmark, and he like said something about like not liking clovers or something, and I was like, oh, we should hold on to that, and we took it with us, and we never did anything with it, it just kind of fell off, like, we never talked about it again, and now it's like, presumably back there still, and we didn't get it through this playthrough. Well, so yeah, because we didn't, what's... we we did not go with him through five, so cause he went to four where the bookmark was. But yeah, no, we do I'm, not have that. I feel like next time when we go through eight, eventually, we should go back there and get that bookmark again. But anyway, uh, maybe if you maybe, want to do maybe. that, we can. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's, you know, valuable or anything, but uh, I, I in just, other words, it makes me wonder. Three and four. And seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Yeah, this is the same explanation he gave us last oh, time no. as well. You're saying we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. Probably not that long, <clears throat> but I guess they don't know that. Yeah. Uh, nope. He wanted to be at her side through whatever trials they were preparing to face, but he knew if they were to survive, he had to swallow his feelings. In order for the six of them to move forward, he and June had to be separated. He looked at June, he was scared to lose her, but he swallowed, steeled his resolve, and did his best to smile. Hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other again. We got to split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? Yeah, we ditched you then, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, right there, actually, but uh, they don't know yeah, that. Probably. Probably. <laughs> You're such a good job at this, Junpei. It was seven that interjected. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to connect somewhere. Why? Wh what makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. And he's just laying all the logic out. In other words, out. the game would end right here. Uh, Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Well, June said nothing. About that. Yeah. About that. Yeah, we didn't quite do that last time, but uh oh well. Hmm. The tears were gone, but her eyes were still sad as they looked at Junpei. He met them and with what reassurances he could manage laid his hand gently on her shoulder. Everything's gonna be fine. We're, we're gonna see each other again. I promise. June bit her lip and gave him an almost imperceptible nod. Yes. Promise? Her voice was barely yeah, yeah. a whisper. 
Dance's voice shattered the moment. <sighs> you guys are done, right? Damn, bro. He stretched and continued. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take eight and Clover can take seven. Any problems with that, Clover? Clover looked away and was silent for a moment. Whatever. Whatever. It was more of a dismissal than an agreement, but Santa didn't seem to care. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. Santa's command, the group split and headed for their respective doors. Clover 7 and Junpei walked toward door 7. Santa, Lotus, and June headed for door 8. For a long moment, they stood in front of the door. Seven took a deep breath. You guys ready? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Aren't you excited? We finally get to go through clo through a door with Clover. Finally. Aren't you, you so actually... happy? I mean, I, I would like to know a little bit more about her because she's either always just gone or not with us or dead. <laughs> well, damn. So, I mean. Okay, let's go. Boy, I wonder what it's gonna be. It's open. A narrow hallway stretched out before them. Seven and Clover leapt through the door. Let's do this! Hurry! Whoa. Leroy Jenkins. That's what I was gonna say. The moment they did, their bracelets beeped. The detonators and the bracelets had been activated. Junpei stepped forward to follow them. But as he was about to step over the threshold, he stopped. <sighs> he looked to his right, toward door 8. June stood there, a mirror image of Junpei. She turned and looked towards him. Their eyes met. They nodded. June. Jumpy. Their farewell took almost 1.5 seconds. What the hell are you doing, Junpei? <laughs> Then somebody took hold of Junpei's arms and hauled them bodily through the door. Oh my goodness, these guys are so... They're, they're, they're down bad for each other, man. Very down bad for each other. He heard the sound of the numbered door slam shut behind him. His bracelet gave a gold electronic beep. Only 81 seconds left! No time to waste, guys! Let's get moving! No way. Seven led the way down the hallway. Junpei and Clover followed him as fast as they could. After what seemed like far more than 81 seconds, they reached the end of the hall. Look! The door on the left! I can see the dead! There was no time to rest or catch their breath. All three slammed their hands in quick succession over the scanner panel on the dead. Well, that was easy. I mean, to us, they they were probably pretty stressed because he's like, for what felt like over 81 seconds, so they probably were cutting it pretty close. <sighs> I know, right? Whew, that's exhausting. Still trying to catch his breath, Seven leaned heavily against the wall. It stopped. It stopped. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> uh, are you are you good? Are you good? His smile seemed forced and a little crooked. This is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but yeah, second for you. Whew. You never really get used to it. I've done this way more times. He stood up straight, no longer out of breath, and wiped some of the sweat from his head and neck. Clover smirked at him. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. Holy! Whoa! Damn, okay. Clover! Alright! Okay! Wow! Chill! Sheesh! Coming what? out swinging! What the hell did you just say? Say it again! I dare you! Oh, jeez. You oh, me, she's... have no... You little... You wanna die?! 
Whoa. I'd like to see you try. Oh, jeez. Whoa. You fucking brat. All right, let's go. Seven, dude. you are not about to throw hands with really? this chick, are Come you? Come on. You're like a, you're supposed to be a good guy, dude. Just really hey, getting hey, this upset? Hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the time for this. It's not yeah. going to do us any good. <laughs> mm, what an interesting pair already. Interesting <sighs> dynamic. Yep, this is going to be so much fun. Mm-hmm. Junpei sighed. Sometimes he wondered if the doors and the puzzles were really the greatest challenge they face. Wait here for a minute, all right? I'm going to go see if there are any other doors. They didn't respond, but Junpei wasn't in the mood for a conversation anyway. We just came through this door. Ah, and of course it's shut tight. There's a short hallway on the left here. And an iron wall. I doubt I can get through it. That's a big negatory. At last, he gave up and returned to Seven, who was tapping lightly on the wooden door. This door's the only option we've got, right? Yeah, looks like it. Hey, something's written on the door. On that iron plate. I can't see it. It says operating room. If this thing's telling the truth, there could be body parts inside here. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Well, we've seen enough of those already. Going to be pleasant. What's a couple more? Right. Something about it made Junpei feel nervous. Well, there's no point to standing around. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. Let's go. Seven grabbed the brass knob and slowly opened the door. The creak of the hinge sounded like the groan of an old woman. Uh, that's a, what's wrong? That that's is certainly a way to put it. No, it, it's nothing. A chill snaked its way down Junpei's spine. Let's just go. Quickly, he gathered what courage he could and took the first step into the room. Seven followed with Clover right behind him. Huh? Part of the room just past the door was obscured by a screen. What the hell is this? Why don't we take a look? Hey, Clover! Clover's curiosity got the better of her and she darted past Junpei to peer around the screen. <coughs> Uh-oh. Her scream nearly blew out Junpei's eardrums. Uh, Clover! Uh... He and Seven ran toward Clover to see what had frightened her. Hey, what's wrong? They rounded the screen and the cause of her outburst was immediately clear. Wh what the hell is yeah, this? No, that's, that's like a puppet. Is, is this a corpse? I'm sure we have a better view of it than they do. It was something that looked kind of like a human lying across some sort of bed. No, not a bed. An operating table. A table sat on a rusty steel lift and a cluster of bright operating lights shone down on it from the ceiling. We should probably take a closer look. Yeah. Yeah, let's go check it out. Slowly they approached. As they got closer to the body, it became clear that it wasn't a body at all. This is... What the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. A d doll? Yes. Yes. Clova did not look terribly comforted. Slowly she approached the operating table and looked as intently as possible from as far away as possible at the thing. <sighs> the thing. The thing. The thing. Junpei could see her relax. You're right. It's only a doll. Man, That's true. It really scared me. And now it's going to start moving. That'd be hilarious. She heaved a great sigh of relief and wiped a few drops of sweat from her forehead. Seven smirked. <laughs> well, I guess it would have been weird if you actually had any balls. Oh. <laughs> okay. Shut it. Don't you start with me, fatty. Oh, jeez. Man. Oh, what's this? You want a piece of me, short stuff? Yeah, bring it on, you whale! Oh my gosh. Hey, this guys, is... not again, okay? Seriously, knock it guys, off. Guys, this is problematic. 
<sighs> Guys, come on. Let's team up and solve you're, some puzzles. You're killing the vibe. Uh, the vibe where we're trying to not die. Jeez. Anyway, it looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. You're talking <laughs> about a heart. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh, this? Junpei. You mean That's on his crazy. Chest? He knows a thing or two. Yeah. It was set a little higher than normal for a human body, but from the shape of the organ, there could be no doubt that it was a heart. Why would there be a heart in a doll? I don't think it's a doll. Have your play operation? You think maybe it's like a medical mannequin or something? Well, this is an operating room. That seems pretty likely. Or maybe yes. it's got more personal uses. Yeah. Seven's grin was more than a little perverted. My man, what is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, my reaction too. Clover glared at him. Well, remember, he was trying to sell that uh, Clover Gamer Girl bathwater just a few episodes ago, so... He's, his, his mind certainly goes some interesting places. Yeah. That's for sure. Anyway, how about we take a look around this place? Let's go. Okay. Sure thing. But we'll have to do that next In time. In the next episode! Yep. We get to go hang out in the operating room with our two bestest buddies. Yep. It's gonna be such a swell time. It's gonna be a... I'm sure there's... I am sure they're gonna get along just fine. It's gonna be peachy keen and nothing is gonna go wrong. Nothing ever goes wrong. No, never. Tune in next time. See you then.